Samsung is set to gain a strong competitive advantage as it develops one nanometer chips. The company is planning to adopt new technology to improve the performance and costs of its products. Yep. Uh, let's bring in for some of those answers, um, BI Asia Pacific Technology Analyst Masahiro Wakasugi, who is here with us. So what is the strategy here? What's the kind of semiconductors that they're trying to develop? And, you know, as we were talking about a little bit earlier, they're really struggling to try and convince NVIDIA to keep using these high-end mm -hmm. AI chips. Yes. Uh, so regarding the next generation technology, uh, Samsung is trying to develop the new uh, three-dimensional structure, which is called uh, backside power delivery network. We call it uh, backside PDN. Mm. And uh, now uh, we have a problem our, about the power consumptions, and especially for the AI data centers. But uh, the new you know, backside PDN will cut the uh, power consumption uh, pretty uh, significantly. And uh, now uh, we have uh, a new uh, two uh, functions on the same side of the semiconductors. One is a power delivery, and another one is the signal. And uh, so two you know, circuitries are sharing and are coping, competing for the space. Mm. But if we can move the power delivery from the front side to the back side, which improves the performance and also cut in you know, uh, power efficiency uh, going forward. So I think that the uh, backside PDN would be the great uh, technology for uh, Samsung to develop the one nanometer chips and also beyond. So, Masahiro, a key question for Samsung, especially in this next generation chip development, has been its competitiveness against other names, especially its South Korean rival, SK Hynix. How is Samsung positioned? Okay. Uh, so, you know, when we talk about SK Hynix, uh, Samsung is uh, competing with uh, on the DRAM or NAND flash memory. And uh, in that sense, uh, probably uh, Samsung's uh, maybe the ad current issue may be the uh, high bandwidth memory uh, to be used for the uh, you know, AI uh, calculation. And uh, at, at this point, Samsung may be a little bit delayed compared with you know, SK Hynix, but uh, they are also developing a new technology about the bonding technology and stacking the each DRAM chips. In, in, you know. And uh, we have to stack maybe 12 or even 60, uh, 16 uh, DRAM chips all together for the next generation high bandwidth memory. So in that sense, uh, Samsung could be trying to uh, develop new technology for the stacking technology for the high bandwidth memory. And uh, regarding backside PDN, it's about the uh, logic semiconductor, mm -hmm. so which is targeting for the uh, maybe like you know, TSMC or Intel. So that's a little bit a different part, mm -hmm. but uh, the, you know, Samsung is handling the two you know, different parts out there you know, uh, altogether. Mm. And you talk about TSMC, Intel. Is the struggle going to be mass production capability? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that's uh, actually the one you know, big problem. And uh, Samsung is really, uh, to some extent, uh, ahead of the competition because uh, Samsung has already adopted a gate all around technology, which is uh, uh, Samsung is using for the three nanometer uh, chips. But uh, TSMC uh, is going to uh, introduce the gate all around technology for their two nanometer chips for probably next year. Mm -hmm. So to some extent, that Samsung is ahead of the competition. So I think that uh, maybe uh, Samsung is learning how to improve the production efficiency. And also, uh, they are going to introduce maybe uh, another technology going forward, targeting 2028 or 2030, maybe. So probably Samsung will be adopting several new technologies to compete with the TSMC going forward. Bloomberg Intelligence Asia Pacific Technology Analyst Masahiro Wakasugi there.